Are you wasting time using ArchiCAD? Oh, don't get me wrong. I love ArchiCAD. I've been using it for over 20 years. But so often I see our clients doing things the long way around, fighting ArchiCAD because they don't understand how to best take advantage of its structure and its philosophy. Have you ever felt there must be a better way to do this? Or, God, I hate doing this over and over again. Or, how are you supposed to do this? Well, you've come to the right place. I'm Eric Bobro, and I'm going to teach you the best practices for using ArchiCAD. I believe there are seven key principles that will help you to use ArchiCAD to its best effect. These best practices are common ideas like getting organized, doing things once instead of over and over again. But when they're applied in the right manner in ARCHICAD, using an understanding of ARCHICAD's basic principles, then they're going to get you a lot further along the way in terms of um, being effective with ARCHICAD. I'm going to go over them first in a broad brush conceptual overview to get you familiar with the ideas and how they relate to each other. Then I'll go back over them in more detail with some depth, enough that you'll be able to leave this video, or when the video is finished, you'll be able to go back to your desk or to your office and actually apply many of these principles. Because you'll understand what's important to focus on, the things that are going to make the difference in your work. Now, if you want to go deeper than that, in terms of how to apply these principles, I suggest you consider getting some training from your local ARCHICAD reseller or ARCHICAD expert or you could sign up for our best practices course for ARCHICAD at www.acbestpractices.com where we'll go in 20 hours of instruction how to implement these best practices as well as a lot of other good approaches to making the most out of ARCHICAD. So let's begin. The first principle is to get organized, to take the files on your hard drive and get them organized so that they're easily at hand. You know where things are and you have a system. Part of that might be creating a project folder that you duplicate from one project to the next so that there's always a consistent place to file things. A project template, that an office template that uh, gives you a consistent starting point is another good idea. Also, your office library, standard details, and notes that you can reuse in that system would be an excellent place to start. Point number two is do it once. And by that I mean if you put in the effort to create something in ARCHICAD, try to reuse it. For example, your project template can be derived from a completed project, preserving all of the attributes and structure that were in that project. By doing it this way, you'll be able to work through from the beginning through the end of the project without having to continually add layers, views, or even layouts because they'll be carried across from a successful project that is perfect for your office. You can also save room um, modules, custom library parts, uh, and other things for reuse, um, including uh, perhaps your schedule settings for doing door and window schedules and translators for working with consultants. Third principle is to save your settings. It takes a certain amount of effort to set things up for any element in ARCHICAD, whether it's wall types or the detailed parameters that you need to set for doors and windows or other objects to make them look just the way you want. Take advantage of ARCHICAD's built-in favorites palette to save those settings so that you can simply select them when you need them. Or, my favorite is to create an interactive legend of visual favorites that are laid out and you can go and eye drop whichever one you need to place it into your project. We do this um, very extensively in Master Template, the Office Standard Startup Kit that we sell for ARCHICAD. Uh, in addition to these things, uh, you can actually uh, take room configurations, whether it's bathroom or an office, things that you're going to need from project to project and have them set up so that you can bring them in and then adjust them for the project as needed. This is going to save you a lot of time. The fourth principle is to work from the general to the specific. As you go through a design um, process, you'll start with general concepts 
and then gradually get more specific as you make decisions with your client on exactly what wall types, um, what the actual geometry is going to be, the distances, the clearances, the materials, all of these things. Now as you place your initial elements, whether you start with a massing model, a bubble diagram, or laying out a floor plan, these elements can be placed with consciousness of their reference line or their insertion point. These serve to anchor your design intent so that as you get later change the wall type to the specific um, component structure that is appropriate or the specific uh, window or door that goes into each location, the anchor points will be recorded keeping the reference line, the corner, or the center perhaps locked in exactly where you felt it was appropriate. So your design intent carries through if you use these anchoring methods appropriately. Now using ARCHICAD structure is point number five. Become familiar enough with the structure that you can go with the flow. In fact, work downhill so to speak, taking advantage of natural relationships and dependencies between different parts of ARCHICAD's um, project structure. For example, suppose that you have a detail drawing and you decide that you want to change the title for it. Go to the project map. Change the name of the detail in the project map. This will flow into the view map and into the drawing title naturally. If you go the other way around and change the drawing title directly, then the view map and the project map will be out of sync and you'll have a hard time seeing which is the detail that's on that sheet because it'll have a different name and you'll have to manually change all three of them if you go the other direction. So using ARCHICAD structure going downhill, so to speak, will give you the most effect with the least effort. The sixth point is to model well, that's in 3D, so that you can draw less. If you learn basic modeling techniques really cleanly so that you do snapping and alignment properly and then supplement these basic techniques with more sophisticated ones as appropriate such as complex profiles and solid element operations you'll be able to create elegant and beautiful sections and elevations that are virtually complete from the model and require almost no cleanup or additional line work. Our seventh and final point is to keep it safe. You need to develop some good habits for saving and backing up your work as you go along, as well as migrating projects from older versions of ARCHICAD periodically to the current one. This will help you to avoid any data loss or any loss of work from day to day or over the long term.